Vlog 14. It's Tom Luddington here from A Light at Sea and I just wanted to share with you a little story about uh, my journey to get down to 50 meters underwater on a single breath of air. I've been training for the last two months with Apnea Canarias in here in Tenerife and I've learned a lot and lots of people have asked how do you do it and what's it like down there, how long does it take, so this is a short video to answer your questions. So Omar runs Apnea Canarius and he'd written this in the WhatsApp group the day before so I was kind of nice and nervous. Um, and that's because we'd managed to get down to 47 meters and it felt like it was time. It was time to try to get down to 50 meters. So I'm going to start the day here saying goodbye to Lou, leaving the boat. Um, and we're living in a little marina uh, in our sailing boat home um, aboard Noctiluca here um, in Radazol, which is near Santa Cruz, which is the capital of Tenerife. Um, so it's just about an hour sailing south from the capital. The water is beautiful in the marina. And as you can see here, I'm just sort of fast forwarding, but uh, it's only a short walk from where we're, we're in the marina there to the, the center here at Apnea Canarias. Quite often if the morning, uh, morning is good, we get out for a stretch uh, over on the decking and we do some basic stretching exercises and then we move on to doing a diaphragmatic breathing exercises to warm up the diaphragm. Here I've done a passive exhale um, and then I've uh, sucked up my diaphragm and I'm just sort of holding my breath and then I'm going to release that slowly and then push out all the air the other way and push my belly up in the air. And really this is just uh, training the diaphragm which is a muscle to be really flexible so that we can take a, a really big breath um, and that we're better at holding our breath. So after stretching we get changed um, and then we, we carry these little yellow buoys uh, which are full of rope out uh, to the, the place where you get in and it's just stunning. I mean look at this, it was a beautiful day this particular day, flat calm seas. To be honest it's nearly always like this, the conditions are amazing. And straight off the steps then um, you can see the water drops away pretty steeply and within a few paddles from the shore you're already into 50-60 meters of water. There's a buoy out there which we can attach um, our lines to and on this day Omar also brought the boat round. There's, he has a rib which means we can have a, a line as well running off the boat which he can supervise for the deeper dives. So we just have to swim for about 10 minutes um, out to where the 60 metre boy is attached to a big lump of concrete on the sieve bed and then we attach our little floating boys and lines to that um, and, and yeah we can begin our free diving session. Um, first of all there's lots of rope to sort out, I have to uncoil the rope um, which has a weight on the end and then that's then uh, uh, let down as you can just about see that happening here, uh, that's let down so that we can then attach ourselves with a lanyard to the rope so that we stay safe. So here I am sort of floating as best as I can like a jellyfish, every single muscle relaxed and getting ready to do my first warm-up dive. You can also see I've got a lanyard attached to my wrist and that's attached to the line. I'm wearing a weight belt, full wetsuit and everything else. So the idea is to be neutrally buoyant at around 10 meters. 
And so I'm going to pull up myself down the rope using as little energy as possible. Um, uh, equalizing the air in my sinuses and my nose and my ears as I go. Uh, until I reach about 10 meters, 10 or 12 meters. And then I'm going to sort of feel that I'm neither floating nor sinking. And that's what we call neutrally buoyant. And at that point, it's a perfect place to stop and just do uh, a short breath hold. I think on this occasion I was here for a minute. I'm going to speed it up for you. Um, and, and you're really focusing on trying to relax every single muscle in your body and just be at peace. It's like a meditation really down there. As soon as you start to feel the urge to breathe on your warm-up dive, you start to work your way back up. So it's just a gentle pull, uh, one or two pulls, and then you'll start to float because you come up above your neutral point, uh, point here. I'll just give a few kicks here, and then I'll start to, start to gently float up, still trying to stay super relaxed, um, up to the surface. And here we've got pole heading down to do a different style of dive. We call this constant weight. And essentially you can see he's not using the rope, he's finning down, nice wide strokes to start with. And then you'll see the fins now are starting to slow down and then he'll stop finning and just drift down, um, down the rope, sinking down below, because he's below the neutral buoyancy, so he's negatively buoyant. So he'll just sort of uh, sink down to 20 meters, make the turn. When you turn at the bottom, there's a, uh, that's where the bottom of the rope is at 20 meters, set to 20 meters. You just do a gentle turn and then you put your hand on the rope and you give one pull um, and then you fin, use your, your fins to fin back up again. So you can see uh, Paul has done his pull and he's finning back up, not using the rope. So this is called constant weight. So this is uh, Claudia, and it's a lovely bit of footage of Claudia free falling down with really good technique and making a lovely gentle turn, very graceful. Um, and then there's the light pull on the rope and then back up again. You also get a good view here of the lanyard that goes from her left wrist to the rope and that's to stop us from becoming separated from the rope. Um, and although the visibility here is amazing, um, it's a really good practice to use the lanyard for any dives deeper than uh, you know, 8 or 10 meters really. So here's Carlos coming down to do the safety dive. You can see the boat in the background. So he's going to be making sure that Clouda is, is all good and uh, when she gets to the surface does her hook breaths and gives the OK signal. This is Paul. And essentially, this is the big dive. It's really important that we don't hyperventilate. We don't breathe more than normal. So we do very relaxed breathing. And then just before we go, we take one last deep breath. You can see Paul here disappearing down into the depths. One of the things that's really hard about going down deep is that the pressure in the inner ear um, gets uh, painful, essentially. So what we have to do is squeeze our fingers on our nose and then blow air as if we're blowing air through our nose to equalize the air in the inner ear and in the sinuses. Now, when you're going down to 50 meters, like Paul's trying to do here, it can get really, really hard to do. So we use a technique called mouth fill. Uh, you bring up the air from your lungs um, into your mouth 
and then you shut your glottis and then you use the air that's trapped in your mouth it, it, with your cheeks really pushed out to, uh, to equalize your ears and your mask and your sinuses. So that's what Paul's down there doing right now is um, free falling from 15 meters and you get faster and faster as you free fall down. At this point, uh, Carlos has felt a tug on the rope, which meant that um, Paul has turned and he's on his way back up. So Carlos is going to go down to meet him. We have to do a deeper safety dive on this occasion down to more like 20 meters. So we have two safety divers. start to see Paul then on his way back up. He's looking good. You can see Omar whizzing past here using this sled to get down and uh, do some coaching, uh, filming us so that we can have a look back later and see what our technique was like. There was lots to improve on, that's for sure. But here I am coming back from 50 meters. And the dive time was two minutes and 15 seconds from when I left the surface. And um, yeah, the depth is measured by my watch. And get back to the surface, do some hook breaths. All good. Personal breath. Yeah! If you enjoyed this little vlog then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press like, leave a comment, it really really does help and we look forward to sharing more of our adventures with you in the future.